In lifeboat 16 sat stewardess Viola Jessup, whose maritime training would serve her well during the rescue. Some of the first house ladies threw Violet's help, etc., had their fur coats on, where some of the other people and some of the crew members came up with just pants and a singlet on and were literally freezing to death. Around 4 a.m., two hours after Titanic went down, the cruise ship Carpathia arrived and began pulling the survivors out of the lifeboats. Viola Jessup left White Star shortly after Titanic's sinking to work for other shipping companies. During World War I, she became a Red Cross nurse. On November 21, 1916, she was stationed aboard Titanic's sister ship, Britannic, which had been converted to a hospital. Off the coast of Greece, the Britannic struck an enemy mine, and once more, the 29-year-old nurse found herself aboard a lifeboat. This time, the threat was not from ice, but the stricken Britannic's propellers. I turned round and to my horror saw Britannic's huge propellers churning and mincing up everything near them. Men, boats, and everything were just one ghastly whirl. All round were heartbreaking scenes of agony. Poor limbs wrenched out as if some giant had torn them in his rage. Jessup was rescued. More than 20 of her shipmates died. When she retired in 1950, she had spent 42 years as a cabin stewardess for luxury liners. She had also kept a journal, writing down her experiences when time allowed. Published in 1997, Violet's story is a rare look at life below decks. She lived alone in this small country cottage until her death in 1971 at the age of 84. The only woman to have survived the sinking of the two great seagoing sisters Britannic and Titanic.